Slovakia Chronicles, a podcast of information, news and much more of our beloved Slovakia. By Andrea Paolo Mazzucchetti. It's me! Let's start! Hello everyone, welcome to the 14th episode of the Slovakia Chronicle podcast. In this particular and atypical summer, where many limitations due coronavirus will be still in place, why don't we invest time in knowing better the Slovak culture and traditions? In the previous episode, I talked about different aspects to help mainly foreigners to know better our beloved country, as internal tourism and wine tradition. Today, I would like to dedicate this episode to another important aspect of the Slovak tradition, its art especially painting. The art of Slovakia springs from a wide range of tradition and has regularly incorporated folk and European tendency in its treatment of chosen themes and motifs. Talking about the Slovak painting, its development took place from the 19th centuries. Painters like Dominik Skutecki and Ladislav Megnansky were well regarded during this time. In the 20th centuries, the dam cracked open to a dazzling outpour of artistic expressions, from the cubist Esther Simerova Martichenkova to surrealist Imro Weiner Kral, to Ludovic Fulla and Marty Benchka, among others. To talk about the art of painting, I have contacted an expert in this field, Julia Vulkova. Julia is the founder of Paint People, a company that brings in Slovakia the concept of experiential painting, even for complete beginners. So, take your favorite drink, relax, and enjoy this conversation. Thank you very much, Julia, to be here. It's a pleasure okay. to, to, to have you here, and I really love your activities, so that's why I contact you. That I also, also tried, so that's, hey, <laughs> I can confirm it even more. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> can you show us? Yes. Like this. Yeah. yeah it's, I don't know. It's, for my first time, it was super cool. So, I mean, I'm very satisfied by myself and about also the like uh, the help that I received <laughs> during the process. And okay, there are some mistakes here, like proportional po- point of view, okay. but okay, whatever. It's, it's cool. I mean, like for the first time, I super, I'm super satisfied. Will you so, keep the painting or will you give it to somebody? I was thinking to give it to my parents. I don't know, they like they like it. It was a surprise. Ah, you you bought it. <laughs> Do you think they are selling something like this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who is going to buy it beside me? I don't know. Like, oh. So for sure, uh, I don't know. I want it. I want it. So most likely, when I will see them, when this lockdown lockdown will be yeah. like, ending, I will uh, give to them. So yeah, there is some reminder of this, and then uh, for sure I will come another time, so I will, I will have something else, like may, maybe better, hopefully. Yeah, you will, you will get better because you, now you know how to mix colors, how to use the brushes. Yeah. And you will only improve, get better and better. Exactly. <laughs> like worse than this, for sure, I cannot go. So this is something that I can uh, <laughs> really rely on. So yeah. So Julia, I will let you space to introduce yourself. So then we can start uh, our conversation. Okay, mm-hmm. so my name is Julia Vulkova and I am the founder of Paint People. Mm-hmm. Uh, these are art parties for everyone. So, and you can join as you have already. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Cool people without painting skills can uh, join our events and paint their own painting. Because on each event there are uh, one or two painters present based on the quantity of people mm-hmm. and they uh, walk you through step by step, they explain everything and then they also help you, they show you how to mix colors, they they correct some things that you were uh, probably not so good at <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. everything can be um, painted over because it's mm-hmm. acrylic, we work with acrylic paint. So basically these are events and uh, they are three times per week approximately two 
three, four times per week in the city center in Bratislava. Mm -hmm. You can buy tickets on the webpage and then you just uh, come to the bar or, or some kind of wine bar or beer bar or cafe. And uh, so we are not painting at some studios like painting studios because basically we are not a painting course. course. We are just like a fun uh, painting event. Mm -hmm. it's uh, overseas it is called art parties yeah because you drink alcohol while you paint and you also have some food included in the price and yeah and the result is that you have your own painting just as you do yeah perfect it's super cool yeah and I'm curious to understand how you came up with this idea yeah um, I lived uh, 20 years in Moscow mm -hmm. and there it is very very common everybody paints there and there are maybe 15 companies that organize this and every day there is painting somewhere in bars and restaurants in Moscow. So I've tried it there. And, and then uh, here in Bratislava, there, are, there have been such uh, artists that do this, maybe mm -hmm. I don't know, three or four, but nobody did it at such a big scale as, as I did. So it's yeah, I, idea, actually, I, because I've I, never I, seen also for me, it's for something new completely. Even for Milan, I don't know, I'm, maybe I'm not into these uh, topics, but for sure it's something completely new, so that's why I was like surprised to see. So it's a very good approach. You know, also in Budapest and in Vienna there are such a project mm -hmm. nearby. Okay, for sure here in Bratislava, I don't know, is uh, for sure the first and the only one <laughs> I've seen something like that. And uh, <laughs> like I said, others, they do it uh, in a smaller scale. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. And is that uh, how you sponsor your activity in your the Slovak community, I imagine, but also in the foreign community, you have some like advertisement, I imagine. Okay, uh, usually it's paid advertisement on Instagram, Facebook, mm -hmm. and Google Ads. Mm -hmm. so advertising. And then we also invite some bloggers, you know, some mini influencers here in mm -hmm. Slovakia, people who have some followers. We invite them and we ask them to take pictures and post stories and post uh, some, what is this, uh, to feed some picture from events into their feed. Mm -hmm. Also, we were on TV during coronavirus, Slovak uh, television, RTVS. They, they uh, called me and they asked, oh great, you are doing online painting for free during the virus and everybody's sitting at home and uh, there are people are sad and you are doing something nice for people, can we film you? And I said, yeah, sure, you can film us hmm. and we were on in the evening news in the cultural section. Cool, this is super cool. And um, so talking about exactly the lockdown, so you were like, doing these online courses, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. and you can also find them on YouTube channel, ah. free. Yeah. Okay, oh, cool, cool, this one is a good tip, because that, I, I remember that I saw something in Facebook, like some posting that we were like uh, sponsoring this, but I, I, I didn't see this in, in YouTube, so it's a good tip. Yeah, but on YouTube it is uh, in Slovak, but you can see what the painter is doing. He's yeah. or she, she's commenting everything, but you can see it. There are mm -hmm. shows. We show you like this that we mix colors this like this yeah and then we do such strikes like here is the canva and they paint like this so you can see mm -hmm. everything they're doing on okay. youtube cool. Cool. actually yes it was very easy to follow also for me even when the, they were speak, what the, paint, the painter was speaking in slovak even for me it was very easy to follow so that's a uh, and then she was speaking English, so <laughs> other like foreign people during the session and was there, so they were also happy after this. Yeah, it would be nice to post also maybe on internations to make some collaborations with them. Mm -hmm. I thought about it actually. <laughs> now, yeah, exactly. These are good crossover. <laughs> you can make. Well, because actually, yes, they are like collecting a lot of foreign people. And they are making like a lot of like events like this, and this will be super interesting also for uh, for foreign people. Maybe they have no idea that exist, so, like me before. So. Actually, yeah. it was like my yeah. colleague, like my Slovak colleagues, that they told me about these activities. So I was like, wow, oh, okay, let's let's go. And then the coronavirus arrived, and everything was uh, stuck. So. Yeah, and um, regarding, uh, I don't know, Slovak painting, no, like the culture of Slovak. 
what you will suggest as, I don't know, some art gallery or museum to visit here in Bratislava that you have like more experience mm -hmm. maybe, I don't know. Uh, Niedbalka Gallery is mm -hmm. very nice. It's on Niedbalova uh, in the city center close to the old market. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, where is the old market? Stara mm Tržnica, -hmm. it's called. Stara Tržnica, yeah. But you maybe know there is a uh, Orbis? Yes. Yes. Uh, chips. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> one, of the, one of the first things that they tried here. So yes, I remember. <laughs> Everybody knows Or Orbis, so exactly. it's a good uh, point, uh, point to, to yeah. navigate the city. <laughs> uh, it's uh, in the side street, and there are umbrellas uh, on the uh, in the sky. Basically, mm -hmm. there are some oh, kind okay. of drinks mm -hmm. between the buildings, and there are umbrellas. So this is how you can identify the gallery. Mm -hmm. And there are some Slovak pa painters uh, uh, from the uh, verge of 19th uh, 20th centuries. Mm -hmm. And they usually paint uh, some mountains or some fields. You know, the Slo Slovakia has beautiful nature. So yeah. Slovak painters, they usually painted the nature, Slovak nature, yeah, which mm -hmm. is really beautiful. Or some um, paintings of women at work in the fields. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, from, from the history, Slovakia was also always the part of uh, Austrian-Hungarian Empire. And uh, Slovak people, they usually worked the fields. While, while uh, the Hungarian uh, people were uh, duchess and, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, how to say, dukes. Yeah, and more like rulers. Mm -hmm. People, they always, from the history, they used to be uh, workers in the field, yeah. So this is what they paint, their daily life of people and nature. And you can see that in Nedbalka. Then also there is something you can see in SNG, that Slovak National Gallery. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, on the, uh, close to the Danube. Mm -hmm. there, there is this uh, uh, Ritz Carlton Hotel. Yeah, Carlton. Mm -hmm. There. And there on the ground floor, there is a permanent exposition and you can see some Gothic altars there mm -hmm. because also in Slovakia, there are many Gothic cathedrals and very nice. There are altars also mm, uh, cut from wood, like mm -hmm. really intricate um, uh, work, uh, works of wood. Yeah, very, very nice. Yeah, and uh, some names like there is a, probably you won't remember anyways, but there are <laughs> To give you an idea, Fula uh, is a painter, famous painter, Medianski, and you can see them in these galleries. Okay. And if you prefer modern art, you can go to Danubiana Gallery. Okay. It's yes. the, uh, the biggest, I think, because SNG Slovak National Gallery is now being reconstructed, mm -hmm. like for how long? Two years already, and they still haven't finished. Yeah. Ah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> So only a small part is open and Niedbalka is really small, it's like four stories, but they are very small and Danubiana is the biggest and it's a little bit on the outskirts of uh, Bratislava, you have to go there by car, that would be the best because mm -hmm. I think by bus or some public transport that would be suicide, <laughs> it's yeah. like um, 20 minutes by car I think. Mm -hmm. And when there we buy boat once. Well, yeah, you can go by boat. Yeah, yeah. also. Yeah, I will not. If you have time to spare, I will say I will suggest it because it takes really, really long. It's like two hour trip when you can go with the car. Yeah, it's super long because they are not going straight to Danubiana, but mm -hmm. they are going in another like part, like island, like uh, that is like further away, and then they come back to Danubiana. And when they come, when they go to pick you up, they go again to that part that is far away, and then they come back to the other part again. And it's super slow, so it's, it's an enjoyable trip. So if you want to trip like do the through the Danube, it's super cool. But I don't know, you really have time to spare. If uh -huh. not, uh, better the bus or car solution, 100 percent. Or then you can go by boat, you can go to Vienna and it will take the same amount of time probably, no? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So that's that's why I'm saying that you have the time to spare. You can go there, there are like the food, uh, it's, it's, it's nice, it's nice. But of course, you need to know in advance that we take this time. Because if you go just go there just to visit, like a short visit, it's not a suggested way to go to yeah. Egypt. 
Yeah. And um, I, want to, I have a question now that I'm thinking. Um, how you select your painters? The one that help you to basically that help people to paint. Mm -hmm. They are all from the uh, university, local mm -hmm. university, Breslau University of Arts. Okay. And uh, I studied there for one year. Mm -hmm. And uh, first I approached some of my uh, fellow students, ex-fellow students. Mm -hmm. Because uh, in the beginning I um, did everything by myself. So I was the painter, organizer and everything. Wow. But then when it started to be bigger and bigger, I realized that I can't do, yeah. Yeah. I can't do everything. <laughs> because it's just physically not possible. Mm -hmm. So I approached some of those uh, girls and guys and uh, they agreed. And then so I had two girls from restoration mm -hmm. and um, uh, restorators they have they have very very careful preparation in painting because they need to be able to recreate any painting basically because they are restorators yeah recreate but al also recreate and uh, fix if it's destroyed exactly. so they they can these girls they can make any copy of a baroque still life for example mm -hmm. yeah or a copy of some very very difficult portrait from I don't know 16th century mm -hmm. so they are like top and that's why I select people from this university because I want them to be professionals mm -hmm. to... but they are fine. I see I... at least yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, Veronica, who painted with you, she's also from restoration faculty. Mm. But we have some painters from painting faculty, where they study directly painting. Yeah, uh -huh. okay. uh, they're also really good. Mm. And uh, they, but our painters, they also need to be re uh, need to have really good people skills. So. Because if you are a really good painter and you can't uh, explain this to people who have never painted in exactly. their life, then it is just uh, useless. Yeah, this type of uh, activity, yes. You need to be uh, really communicative. To... Mm -hmm. And they need to understand how, how people think, that people who never painted, they need to understand that, okay, if they tell them, like, mix it how you feel it, they will not probably understand, yeah. Of course, of course, yes. No, it was very specific. I remember there was really like this quantity of no, yellow and this amount of the little amount of white, for example, mix it together with this amount of. So they are very specific, and this one yeah. I really appreciate it because I like to be like very guided in this. You know? So be at least I get a good result, at least like something that is, you know, you can see that it's <laughs> something like it's a palm or so. It's, it's mm -hmm. not like a really bad stuff. And uh, I want to ask you also about the topics. You choose, uh, like, how you choose this the, the painting that you are proposing? Mm. Usually we try to think about something which is popular right now, uh -huh. like avocado. Okay. <laughs> I saw the summer yeah, this one for sure is summer I would say. Yeah, yeah because it's summer. Or flamingo. Mm -hmm. Pink flamingo, uh, then uh, online we painted also ananas, pineapple, mm -hmm. you know, because now I don't know, it's uh, pineapple is very popular. I yeah. don't know why, but it is. <laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw it like in some shirt also. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, some landscapes, because people like landscapes, mm -hmm. they are nice to look at. And now the big hit is liquid. A liquid mm. art this is where you pour liquid paints you just pour them like this on your canvas mm -hmm. and then you can blow with your lips you can like do like mm -hmm. that and oh, um, mm -hmm. uh, paints they mix and uh, create different uh, ornaments or you can take your canvas in your hands and uh, do this okay yeah and the paints they also this is how for your uh, podcast we should explain what is do this, this <laughs> is put it, yeah. it from one side to the other exactly. like to, yeah change the direction of the paint which is flowing yeah it's just like moving the painting yeah moving, exactly. yeah, moving mm -hmm. canvas and the paintings on a circle, like round canvas, are very popular also because it's uh, something different. Yeah, it's not a classical rectangular. 
mm -hmm. a circle. So abstract paintings are also very popular because there you have nothing to uh, screw up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly, because it's something abstract, it's true. You just, uh, there you can paint how you feel it. Cool, these are cool, uh, cool tips, yes. We also use gold, gold leaves, which mm -hmm. you can stick to the, your abstract painting to make it more interesting. And gold paint, golden paint, which is uh, put on there with your finger. Like you take a bit of paint and you do this with your finger on the mm -hmm. camera like that. And the paint is called gold finger. Yeah. Ah, okay, so, it makes gold. sense. <laughs> <laughs> It makes sense. Okay, cool. And what about your future plan? You are planning something special or like some events, for example? Yeah, we were planning to spread uh, to Vienna, but uh -huh. because there is coronavirus, we can't. <laughs> and uh, still, uh, we are, our new web page is almost ready. And first, uh, the web page needs to be done in uh, Austrian language, yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, the new web page will be in English, so Perfect. all the international people can understand what's going on. Great, this is super cool. Yeah. And uh, right now we are expanding to other cities, like Pezinok. It's uh -huh. uh, really pro close to Bratislava. Now then I have this uh, Saturday, I have a meeting in a golf club in Piesciani. Mm -hmm. Okay. They invited me there that they want a golf club wants to collaborate with paint people that they want to uh, have some painting events because they have some women tournaments, mm -hmm. golf tournaments and women like painting so they want to combine golf with painting for their customers like very nice. nice. And I plan also to go to Trnava, Trenčín and cities which are close mm -hmm. and um, uh, events in there. So expanding is the expanding yes, the business. Yeah, it is good. Yes, actually, yes, it's uh, worth it to go. And also, like other people that cannot come in Bratislava, maybe for sure there could be a possibility as well. If you have something there in, for example, in Tarnava, that is quite close here. So definitely, yes. Okay, cool. So really, <laughs> it was super cool. And I, I already saw what I'm going to make the next time is from the impressionist. It's like these orchids, something like that. I, 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 don't, I like it, this impression is. Yeah, water lilies. Yeah, exactly. Water exactly. lilies. Uh, water but lilies. You, can come, you can come to our party, birthday party, on 25th of July. That's mm -hmm. Saturday in uh, three weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, and the big party is going to be in Meditska Zahrada. Okay. You know Meditska, it's yes. in the city center. And it is with a collaboration with the city, like city, what is this, uh, uh, may, not mayor, but the old city, uh, mm -hmm. because we are the part of the cultural summer program. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah, okay, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, that's the collaboration with the city, that's why we can organize it in Meditska, because uh, Meditska Garden is owned by the city and usually they don't let people organize events there. Yeah. And which is the most uh, important thing about this is that the um, ticket price is only 15 euros, which is a 50% discount from our uh, normal price because normal price. Like 30 and this is only 15 and you have everything included as always, uh, then Prosecco, some food and also a cake. So even a cake is going to be there and we will uh, also have some how do you call this? That people can win some prizes from us. You'll get lottery ticket, yeah, lottery. You'll get ticket and you can win a prize like some colors or you can win a painting from us, the painting that our painters painted. Mm -hmm. Or you can also win a gift certificate. Cool. Cool, yeah. idea, cool initiative. This one for sure I will attend because I'm here. No, I was thinking if I would be in vacation, but I'm not. I'm not so. <laughs> for 50 people, big event for 50 people in the garden. Mm -hmm. So we need to subscribe somewhere to, to be part. Yeah, you need to buy a ticket on our web page. Ah, okay, okay. Good to know. So mm -hmm. people know that they cannot come there just uh, like. Yeah, uh, yeah, because the. No. Will be limited people. They are limited, yeah, the places, there are only 50 places, so you need to buy your ticket on the webpage. Mm -hmm. Okay, great, great, good to know, good to know, this one I will buy like, now, hopefully there are still available places. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Some, yeah. <laughs> great, so 
thank you very much for our discussion. It was a very nice, nice pleasure to, to see you and meet you also. And we are going to meet soon. So. Likewise. Thank you <laughs> for inviting me to your podcast. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. See you soon. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. Thank you very much to Giulia for talking about one of my favorite passions. Have a look at the new initiative of Paint People to see what they are the next painting they are going to perform. And don't worry if you are not the new Picasso. Their courses are open to everyone, to all levels of experience in painting. So book your spot and try the experience to be an artist for one day. And then, if I can make it, you for sure you can do it. Thank you for being part of the Slovakia Chronicle family and stay safe.